All right, getting back to it, let's go ahead and import in uh, my finished version of what we were just assembling a moment ago. All right, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this guy, and in that case, let's get rid of him as well. All right, so here's the puppet that I imported. You can export your puppets by just going to Export Puppet, and I'm just going to drag this down over here, and what we should see is, oh, there I am. All right, I'm, I'm floating around again. Let's test my eyebrows, make sure all that stuff works fine. Yep, it is looking good. Okay, so um, once again, let's go over here to our Transform and uh, set up kind of our uh, the basic size that we feel like he should be at, basic position. Of course, he's going to kind of wobble around based on me moving a little bit in the camera over here. But that's one of the things that we're going to control. And you know what? I'm going to just offset them a little bit off here today. All right, so if I want to start making this guy lip sync and record this, all I've got to do is hit the uh, the red button. And what you'll see is all these other little things over here that are lit up red could potentially get recorded onto the character as well. Uh, so I could also toggle these off by just clicking over here. But let's just go ahead and just, um, just hit record on this. Recording in three, two, one, blah, 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 blah. I'll just talk through some things, and let's see if he kind of sinks in. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. All right, let's hit the stop on that. And now, if we zoom in a bit, let's go through here. Oh, probably zoomed in a bit too much. Yeah, well, you can see the um, all the mouth gestures down this way. Now, as I'm scrubbing through here, I could um, I, I might see notice that hey, you know what? That's not that shouldn't be the E sound. In which case. I can uh, right click on it, choose out a different one of these, right? Or if I don't want it at all, I can just delete it. Uh, you can also kind of just drag these around to different uh, positions, right? Or uh, different uh, points in time to uh, extend your audio a bit. And that might not seem like the most um, exciting thing to you podcasters out there because, again, you guys are kind of recording all of your audio separate from uh, this particular program. So let's do this. Let's go and take out everything that we just did. So I'm just going to go and uh, actually here's probably the easiest way to do it. No, I guess I, guess I can't. Well, I'm just going to go and delete out every layer, right? Okay, so, uh, well, I deleted myself out as well. Let's put me back in. Okay, oh, that was a mistake. Um, um, there we go, the right size. Okay, so let's go and import in some audio. And to do this, you just have to have some sort of MP3 file or uh, whatever format it wants. And I'm just going to drop this in uh, down. Oh, my, do I have to actually import it? Uh, let's see, there it is. All right, so I dropped it into the project panel. Now I'm going to go and put it, there it is, right down there. And if I zoom out a bit, I should start to see there's the waveform. For some weird reason, I think this is a bug. I think if, when you zoom in, you should in particular see the waveform. So you can really kind of kind of hyper sync your stuff up. But uh, all right, so there's the audio. Obviously, I've, I'm not moving or anything like that. Um, I'm not syncing in with it. So let's go ahead and select this. And uh, actually, maybe I need to select this guy. And we're going to go over here to Compute Lip Sync from Scene Audio. OK, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, there it is. And sure enough, yeah, you can kind of eyeball this. At, uh, testing, testing. All right, so basically what I had before in the previous video. And all right, so now, um, big thing to notice about this is that when I do, let me turn the volume down a little bit on this. Uh, when I do scrub through here or play through here, hitting the space bar, uh, we've, we're just getting the, the mouth movements, right? Guy's not moving around. He's not uh, making his eyebrows go up and down like he is right now when we're just kind of resting here, previewing it. So that's something we could add back in um, after the fact. And to do that, uh, let's go over here and start toggling off these things that we had toggled on before. Because now we don't want to overwrite our lip sync, right? Because we've already got that in there. So take that guy off. Uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's see, for the face, let's unfold this. And I'm not a huge fan of what's going on here with the, uh, you know, the head kind of bobbing back and forth. So let's take the head strength down to, well, I don't see why I need to go in the negative zone. Let's just take it down to zero. And uh, let's do the same thing over here for the head tilt. Okay, so now you'll see, hey, look at that. I'm <laughs> kind of stuck there, right? And, you know, if you get it however you want, you can see that if you put this down at like 50% now, 
He's got a little bit of a wobble to him. Um, I don't know. Do we really want that? Let's put it down at zero. Let's let's. There we go. All right. So now we're just kind of dealing with the uh, with the eye eyebrows, and uh, let's go ahead and hit record. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of mimic what I would maybe be doing um, as that particular audio was playing. Right. So three, two, one. And there's still some mouth movements in, in, on my end. Not uh, They're not getting recorded. But uh, you can see now that, uh, yep, sure enough, the, the eyebrows are going back and forth as we do this. All right, so let's, uh, let's add another little feature into here. And this might have exported out with the puppet itself. If, if so, we'll, we're going to um, go ahead and add it. I'll delete it and add it in. So I'm going to double click on our puppet guy over here. And hey, would you look at that? I don't actually see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add something that we can um, add a drag a dragger tool. Okay, so just click over here and put this. Oh, actually, it is up there already. Well, that's okay. Um, imagine it wasn't. Okay, so I've got the whole character selected, and there's our dragger. Just click right over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that little thing around in our scene. So. Double click over this way. There I am again. Uh, this time around, we are going to toggle off the um, eye gaze and the face. Okay, so I'm just I'm just going to be recording. I'll take triggers off as well. That's probably something for another video. I'm just going to record the dragger movement. Okay, so again, starting from the beginning. Now this this I'm going to actually have to just click down um, with the mouse, kind of in that area, and, uh, and well, you know what? You'll see what happens. All right, so. Get ready. It's like pole position, right? So there we go. Okay, hit spacebar. It's going to stop it. All right, so you'll notice now there's our dragger that's been added on. And there we go. Okay, cool, huh? All right, now check this out. We can actually do it twice. So let's go and start recording here okay so again three two one this time i'm going to kind of make it go up and down just a little bit hit the space bar to stop and what we should see now is our dragger uh i guess layers over here uh have uh there's there's two of them now okay so we've got this one right on top of the other one and this might be a bit of an abrupt change because you'll notice you know before we were going left and right this one we were going up and down so let's just see okay so you see how it kind of popped like that boink right it's okay it's not too bad but um we can do a little interpolation over here if we uh, just see that little kind of triangle in the top left of that that is going to make it so that these kind of just eases between the two states, right? And you'll notice that by pulling that, that layer underneath starts creeping in a little bit. And let's see what happens. Okay, a little bit smoother, right? Um, now, oddly enough, this is how you would transform the position as well, okay? So... Yeah, this might date this video, but if at a future point in time they, they kind of add more of your traditional um, keyframes for things. But let's let's take a look at how we would change the, um, how, how we'd be able to make a smooth transition along the, just the X axis. And to do that, uh, let's fold this guy up. Uh, let's go over here. Let's take that off. Let's go and click on the red for the, um, well, actually, let's go down here to the X, right? That'll make that red light up. And so we're at this um, uh, 437 position right now. Okay, well, let's record that. So we should be kind of just recording where we're at now, right? Okay, I'm going to stop it. And yep, sure enough, we've got that position right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is slide back a little bit over here. Let's see. And I'm going to change this to zero and start recording. Let's see what happens. Okay, get to the end. I'll pause that. 
All right, so under transform, uh, yep, sure enough, you can see that we've got um, this position here, this position here, should jump them back and forth. And if we just go like this, our little guy should start moving over there to the right. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now another thing we could do is let's take the X off and we'll switch over here to the Y position. And uh, this time around, what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to just, <laughs> this is kind of a weird way of doing it, but I'm, I'm going to just kind of float my two fingers on the mouse pad over top this number, right? Well, I guess I'll, yeah, I can do it like that, right? And it's a little bit, I find it a little bit easier instead of trying to push down on it and go like this. If I just, if you do happen to have a trackpad, this seems to be, let's see, yeah, that should work pretty well. All right, so let's, let's just see what happens. So I'm going to, again, hit record. I'm going to come over here. All right, so it should kind of look like he's walking, right? So maybe I didn't really need to do it in the very beginning of that. Um, although I could, uh, I suppose I could pull this back too, couldn't I? Okay. All right. Point is, we should have a little up and down movement. There we go. Kind of a traditional puppet. He's <laughs> you don't see the legs, right? And uh, you know, if if I wanted to uh, just kind of focus in on a particular area, I could go to advanced work area, and there we go. Let's go like this. So now when I start, oh, I thought that was going to loop for me. And I think I turned that off. But see this little bar right here? What I was hoping is that that was going to loop. Eh, I'm not really sure why it's not. There we go. Okay, so I guess you got to start playing it from inside of there. Uh, sure enough, there we go. We're kind of moving around. And um, yeah, I think we're pretty much back to what I began with in the video, uh, the previous video. All right, and well, you know, this is really just the beginning. Um, hopefully, I've showed you enough to, to kind of for you guys to get started with this. But uh, there's a whole bunch of different things we could do with um, moving arms around, uh, triggers where we press things on the keyboard, almost like we're a DJ, uh, so we can make you know fire come out of his mouth or something like that. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's stuff to do with physics. Um, you can you can actually make uh, different head positions. So if I were to go over here uh, and scroll down a bit, you should see, let's see, where is that? You can have multiple head head turning movements. Well, I guess, uh, oh, there it is, so different views. Um, so there's all sorts of uh, really cool stuff that we can get into here, which I'll admit I haven't totally learned yet, but I've gotten us, this far. So uh, stay tuned.